Hello, and welcome to Grand Central Terminal here in New York City. Today, I'm checking out the newest addition to this lovely train station, which is Grand Central Madison. Now, first things first, to get to Grand Central Madison, you have to head through the main entrance for the food court. These are located to your left if you come through the main entrance on 42nd Street. Once exiting the stairwell and entering the main dining hall, you must make a sharp turn to either your left or right to access the Madison Concourse. So we've arrived in the Madison Concourse. While lots of things are still under development, like the numerous amounts of empty retail spaces, the place looks overall really nice and clean. And after a one and a half minute escalator ride, we have finally arrived at the main mezzanine here at Grand Central Madison. So first impressions so far, this place is hot. Like the heater is cranked up to the max. Maybe I'm wearing a little too much, but it's hotter than I expected down here. So guys, as you can see, this is real marble. This is real marble. Look at this. Real so without any further ado, let's take a quick tour of Grand Central Madison. A common theme here at Grand Central Madison is the numerous amounts of artwork. These pieces of artwork are located on the level where you can board tracks 203, 204, 303, and 304.
Currently, the terminal is in its soft launch phase, with the LIRR only operating hourly shuttles to the terminal. The good news is, in a couple of weeks, most of the LIRR's lines would start stopping at the terminal. While we're at it, let's explore the platforms. Here at Grand Central Madison, there are four island platforms and eight tracks. This platform houses tracks 303 and tracks 304. So down here, I'm at platform level now. I'm on tracks 304, 303 and 304. Uh, one thing I noticed is this place is really eerie. There's like nobody here. I don't know if it's because it's a Sunday because I'm recording this on a Sunday. And I don't know if it's just because it's a Sunday and the LIRR is only running hourly shuttle trains here. So it's not getting enough traction yet, but it is... Like, as you can see, it is really just, like, there's nobody here. I feel like I'm in, like, the twilight zone right now. One thing I can conclude so far is that this place is overbuilt. Um, I mean, I mean, we totally needed this project, but we didn't need it to be at this scale. I mean, this place is just huge. And I know this is New York, but, I mean, come on. Really? This is a little too much, but hey, I get to explore this little cool new piece of architecture, which is always fun. Before ending off the review of Grand Central Madison, let's head back upstairs and check out the Long Island Railroad's main ticketing hall. Before entering the main ticketing hall, we must first enjoy this grand piece of mosaic art designed by Japanese contemporary artist Yayoi Kusama. If you want to learn more about this piece of mosaic art, as well as all the other pieces of art here at Grand Central Madison, I'll link some articles in the description below. So here we are at the main ticketing hall here at Grand Central Madison. Here is the waiting room, which features ample seating, a toilet, a customer service counter, these wooden blue stools, as well as lots of charging ports. Behind the ticketing area, there is also a brand new, up-to-date, Long Island Railroad map. <laughs> and with that concludes my tour of Grand Central Madison. Overall, I really like the station, but I do feel like in some ways it is a bit overbuilt. But what do you think? please let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And this is The4905 here, and I will see you next time. Take care.
Thank you.